So what is a JavaScript test? To learn it, we're going to build our own testing framework. And don't worry, it's a couple of lines of code and it's going to be really simple, just so we can understand what really a test is. And I want to give a credit here to Ken C. Dodds and his amazing blog post, but really what is a JavaScript test? And I highly encourage you to read this after you're done. So you're also going to need Node.js to run the examples and everything else in this project because we're in the JavaScript ecosystem, right? So when you have Node, you can just type in your terminal Node followed by the file name. So you can go to Node and you can download the LTS version, which is the latest stable one, and you're good to go. Okay, so what's the simplest test that we can write? And inside here, I'm in a tutorial folder and I'm going to create a file that's example.js and I'm going to open the terminal down here. So let's create a function that's adding two numbers. It's going to be A and B and it's going to return A plus B, right? So we can say the actual result is going to be, should be four, right? So the expected result is four. And then we can say if actual doesn't equal expected, we can throw an error. Throw new error say the back ticks and then we can use the wavy boys and say actual is not equal to expected and of course if you want to see this error we have to be bad at maths and of course I'm not doing this on purpose right because we're all really amazing at maths so we can type known example JS and we should see a beautiful error so 4 is not equal to 5 and this is awesome but I think we can improve this already and we already made an assertion. So if I scroll down here, we can build our own assertion library. After all, the limit is our imagination. So let's create a nicer API to work with. So let me just clear the terminal here because it's distracting. We're just going to move this logic inside of an expect function that's just going to be a simple helper. So we can write function expect is going to accept an actual argument and then it's going to return something you want to assert on. So we can do anything. This can be to be, uh, to have length or whatever you want. Like you can really have fun with this if you want. So we want to be expected. And then we're just going to cut this part and paste it right here. And that's all. So let's take this code. So it's just like in the example, let's paste it here. And then we can simply say expect actual to be expected, right? And then we can save. And again, if we run it, I'm just going to press the up arrow to get the latest command. Here is our beautiful error. Four is not equal to five. This looks decent, right? But we really don't get any feedback. We don't know what error or test is failing. Let's improve this. So if I scroll down here, we can see a further example here. We have our sum, and here is another helper function that's test that accepts a title and a callback, and it's just going to be inside the try and catch block and give us more information about our test. And then we can encapsulate the logic of our test in a more useful fashion, and that's going to be awesome. So let me just clear the terminal here, and let's write that helper function. So we can say function test accepts title, callback we can say try we want to run the callback and if that's successful we can just let me copy this part it's going to be easier yeah we can just say that it's successful but if it fails we can catch the error and then we can say console error and you can even format this and make it prettier using something like chalk or whatever else, right? Like we're going to see later when we write tests how the output looks prettier. Then we can say console error error and we have the expect here which is the same, we didn't change anything. And now instead of writing these things here we can just encapsulate everything. We can just say test, we can give it a label sum adds numbers and then we pass it a function and then let's just move and first we're going to make it fail and let's also move our assertion right so 
it's like that let's save and let's run it so it should fail beautiful and now we know which test failed so it says sum adds numbers error 4 is not equal to 5 clear the terminal and then we can make the test pass run it sum adds numbers this is really an awesome way to learn testing